Welcome everyone. Adam the Woo here. Daphne tagging along. You have a wand, a Wizarding World wand. Expelliarmus. Harry Potter is something until recently. Well, I'll get to that in a second. This is a historic day for me because this is my first time I will be going into the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. You see the castle back there somewhere. It's very bright. Very bright out here. Can't really tell if it's in frame. <laughs> but there's a little asterisk on me going in there for the first time because this will be the first moments stepping into the Wizarding World that I've seen all the movie, all Harry Potter movies. Yeah! I purchased the Blu-rays four or five months ago and watched all of them. I have seen all the films, all the years. All the years. Seven years? Seven years. Seven years. The last one is two, a two to set. It was intense, and now I know what I am going to be seeing with my own eyes, finally. Yeah, now you know who's on your shirt. I do. This is Dobby. He's a free elf. Dobby is free, He's and free. I am a Ravenclaw. You're a Ravenclaw. You are a Slytherin. Slytherin. Yeah, Bella checks on my shirt. She's my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> I'm hoping to go on the attractions in there, the rides in there. I want to see all the things. You have to get a wand, too. I'm going to do a little wand shopping. I'm excited. Yeah. Join me. And Daphne, she's a Slytherin. I'm a Raven. <laughs> Shall you? And I have recently had a reprinted version of my annual pass, and it's a sign that Harry is on there. And right there it says Wizarding World. Right there. So my pass is good until September. I had a camp here the other day. I didn't go into the Wizarding World, but I did have to go up to the ticket booth and get this. As of recording this also, it's Friday the 13th. Dun, dun, dun. Friday, May 13th. 13th. You're not in focus. Wands. There you Check are. Ourselves. Do it again. You weren't in focus. Oh. Friday the 13th. <laughs> right now. Show me the back of your jacket. Neither can live while the other survives. <laughs> Look at this. This is he who shall not be named. He who shall not. Now the globe is not working. I might have to use a little magic on this globe to get this thing spinning. Oh, do it. What's the, what's the spell? Spin. Spin. <laughs> Globy spin. Now I am definitely not an expert at all, but I've only I've seen all the movies once and now I know the characters and I know all the props. I know everything that's gonna be happening there. I am not an expert. I would say you know a little bit more than the average person now, so. I used to be a witch in the wizarding world, so this is all about it all. Once a witch. Once a witch, always a witch. Always a witch. <laughs> Now this kind of adds to the experience a little bit, these misting fans, and I'm kind of starting off here just to kind of cool down a little bit, but through the trees right there is where you walk into Hogsmeade, which is the, so you go from Hogsmeade and then you continue on to Hogwarts Castle. Yeah, you can only do like the second year to go to Hogsmeade, second or third year to go to Hogsmeade, the first year to go. So you, so am I considered a first year or second year? But I, I'm kind of I, because I have an annual pass. I can I considered a second year, yeah. so I can walk back into the into Hogsmeade. Yeah, you can go. It's all very confusing. You can go your graduated students. You can go back anytime. All right, I can go back at any time. Either way, it's through this archway. I've been in here about 20, 30 times or more. <laughs> Never knew what I was looking at until now. Oh, I am in. Now I recognize this so much more than before. Before I was just like, oh, it's awesome looking buildings with snow on it. Now I know exactly what I'm looking at. And I even know now what the nine and three quarters is at the train station. I know all this now. Before I was like, what the heck is nine and three quarters? Hello there. This is my first time here in the wizarding oh, world. Oh, it's nice to see you. Wow. It's not everybody that cares enough to have a picture of their house elf on their shirt. The house elf? This is Dobby. He's now free. Oh, I didn't realize. <laughs> His owner must have given him some clothes. That's awfully nice of him. On a hot day like today, I do recommend trying the frozen butterbeer. Frozen butterbeer. That'd be good. Uh, All right. The muggles call that a slushy, if that makes any sense to you. All right, well, thank you for conducting a welcome. Oh, you're quite Conductor. Welcome, sir. Enjoy your time in Hogsmeade. And we can go on Fly to the Hippogriff. Now I know what a hippogriff is. You do. And inside here is all the, the stuff for the Quidditch matches and everything right in here. That's pretty dang cool. Now you were saying the top window up there is the one that Dumbledore falls out of, all the way at the top up there. Yeah, spoiler. Oh yeah, spoiler, <laughs> true. And it has been a heck of a long time since I have been on Forbidden Journey, which is located inside this building, inside the castle over here. So we're gonna go on that as well. When was the last time you went on Forbidden Journey? I can't remember. I get so scared on that ride. There's so many Dementors. I've only kept my eyes open like twice all yeah. the way through the whole ride. So this is gonna be a cool experience for both of us. We have never been on this together. We haven't? 
I don't think so. I don't think so either. I don't think we've ever ridden this together. Wow. So we're, it's, you're going to be <laughs> Slytherin, and I'm going to be... I'm not going to be. I Raven. Am. You are a Slytherin. I am Slytherin. I'm going to be a Ravenclaw. <laughs> Another thing I, w I forgot to mention, I want to go to Three Broomsticks and get a meal there, because now I know what Three Broomsticks is. And then there's the... The Hoghead Tavern, am I getting that right? Hogshead Pub. Hogshead Pub, where you can get, I could get the hot butterbeer. Yeah, that's a superior butterbeer. I, I mean, I drink a lot of piping hot caffeinated beverage. There's no caffeine, and there's no alcohol in butterbeer, even though it's called beer. Yeah. Maybe I'll get that instead of a coffee. Yeah, you a should. piping hot. It's like the wizarding coffee. The wizarding coffee. I like that. And right now, 55 minutes for Flight of the Hippogriff, but you were saying it's probably the, the crowd's gonna diminish a little bit as time goes on. Yeah, the park just opened a little bit ago, so people are gonna go down the lower lot and kind of disperse. Everyone comes here first in the day. That makes sense, because it's one of the first things you pass. It's all right. So you know you know all the little, the little tips and tricks. I'm just a, a newbie. Now I've heard of tram parking. This is pram. Okay, making my way over to get that hot butterbeer. Okay, I was just informed they are out of warm butterbeer, so I ended up getting frozen. But there's the hog's head right there on the side of the wall. That head is from a hog. Also some shrunken heads up on there too. I feel like those are the same heads that were kind of cruising around through the town at high speeds on the bus on either side. Those are the, those are the shrunken heads. Okay, it's butterbeer time right here with the paper straw. It's got a paper straw. And now stepped into Ollivander's wand shop. Which one should I get? And he should not, he shall not be named. That's his right down there. And this is Dumbledore's wand. Oh, that's pretty cool looking too. So Ollivander right now is not in, is not on site. Ollivander has left the building, but this is the staircase up to his office on top of that. Yep. Okay, this is making some kind of a noise up there. It's circling around on top inside the shop. And I ended up getting a pin. And I also got a wand. Yeah, I got a, a wand. I got a Voldy wand. Voldy you know, wand. I have to give him a nickname because he is he who should not be named. Yeah, or you well, can be brave like me and just say his name. What? I have a Death Eater wand. Oh, that's a good one. Those are, those guys are scary. They're kind of frightening. Yeah. Not, I, mean, I think maybe Voldy's a little more scary though. Right, it purchased right over here at Ollivander's. You can see the name right there. Maker of fine wands since 382 BC. And have stepped into the owl post now. Look at all these owls up there with their heads spinning around. There's owls everywhere in here. They're delivering packages. They deliver packages off here, these owls. And if I wanted, I could purchase a plushy owl. There are several different plushy owls here that I could buy. There's even some looking out the windows there here at the Owl Post. I could get my name engraved there on this Ravenclaw book. Is that just like a little like notebook? You can put all your spells in it that you learn. Uh, so I could put, uh, have, that's true, I could. Now this thing is snoring now, but I know what it, ooh, it's going to wake, it's waking up now, it's waking up. I think I woke it up, I think I woke the book up. Uh, calm down there, bro. Calm down. Sharp teeth on that book. Go back, take a, take a nap, go back. And they also sell a couple versions of it. This little notebook and this one says, handle with care, it bites, that'll bite you. And take a look at the broomsticks up here. They're kind of tied down so they don't fly. I've never even noticed these broomsticks up here. I never looked towards the roof. Oh, it's, ta it's talking to us. And there's also Snape's row here for four, 300, no, $495. You can dress just like Snape. And I now know what this car is. When they helped Harry escape from the window, the car flew up to the side of the window and Harry climbed in the, did he climb in the back seat? One of the seats. One of the seats, yeah. And then the Whomping Willow just took it apart. <laughs> and it said it was only a 25 minute wait for this. So that's not too bad of a wait at all. Look at the rock work through here. Pretty dang cool. I do love the theming. So it's to get a locker, put our stuff in the locker. That way we don't lose anything. This is a pretty intense ride. And here's those plants that you rip out of the, the, the out of the pots. I don't remember any of this from us years ago. Oh, wow, what's that? Look at this. Oh, that's Ramona Ravenclaw right there. Look at all, this is awesome. I forgot all this even existed. It's been years. That's Helga Hufflepuff. There he is right there. There's Dumbledore. That's awesome. How freaking cool is this? This queue line is awesome. Wow. I had no idea. I mean, I've been on before, but it's been so long. I forgot all about all of this. Oh, and that's the sorting hat right there. I've already been sorted. I'm a Ravenclaw, but it's good to see you again, sorting hat. I'm gonna go on. I'm gonna go on Forbidden Journey. I know it's forbidden, but I'm gonna go on it. I really hope I can fit on this. I really hope I can fit on this. Okay, we're going. We're going up. Let's see the spell. Go up. Oh wait, whoa! I see him. I see the dragon. Oh! <laughs> yes! Awesome. 
I love oh a spider. Yeah, a spider right there. Oh there's the tree right there. Oh that tree is all oh, we're going upside down almost. Whoa, holy cow! Oh wow, wow. Look at Santa Venter. What'd you think? I kept my eyes open the whole time, and it was still scary, but so good. That was awesome. The practical effects, are, I forgot how big the dragon is. Like, the, the dragon, dragon so big. the Dementor room, so many Dementors. The all spiders, the spiders. Swamping Willow. I, you know, I don't, it's hard to say what like a, one of the best theme park attractions are, but that's gotta be up there. This and Rise. Rise of Resistance is great. This is definitely two different type of, types of rides, and this is kind of predates Rise of Resistance. Yeah, by, Rise was like modeled after By this. like a decade or so. Right? Yeah, oh Yeah, my give gosh. or take. Yeah, it's been around take. a while. I love this. So in good. In fact, we did it twice. Yeah, it was a walk up. We literally, so when you are here and you get, you can rent a locker for free for two hours, and we just walked on twice. It was incredible. Two times. First time I was like, a little more afraid than the second time. I was like, we gotta go on it again. And I handled it second, better the second, I think you handled it better the second time yeah, too. Yeah, I just get so scared. There's so many Dementors. <laughs> a lot of them, I loved it. What's the name of the shop? Filch's um, Emporium of Confiscated Goods. And there's actually three screen used pair of Harry Potter glasses that Daniel Radcliffe wore. They're oh. hidden in the rafters. Oh yeah, to show me those. So there's three screen used Daniel Radcliffe There might be glasses. more, but I remember for sure there are three. There might be show more. Me, you gotta show me them. <laughs> And I'm gonna head over now to the restroom facilities and because that's where Moting Myrtle is. She's gonna kind of, she'll talk to you while you take care of business. And now into three broomsticks to get some food. I ended up getting something called sticky toffee pudding. Looks like it has a little bit of ice cream on it. And I went with some gilly water, which is basically just regular water. And the oven roasted chicken, some potatoes, some corn. And I always get the fish and chips. It's so good. I've also had the pot pie in here once before. But this is the first time I've ever had a meal where I knew what the, the lore of Harry Potter was is. So that's pretty exciting. And there's plenty of window seating. A lot of windows in here and a lot of staircases. Now, I recall this opened in early 2016, give or take. So this has been open for over six years already. Yeah, I just had its sixth anniversary last month. Oh, they celebrated the sixth anniversary. And so it took till now before I was able to finally walk through, even though I've probably been through here between 20 and 50 times, if I had to guess. Yeah. Because I've, you know, I've been going to Universal Studios Hollywood many, many times. But this is the first time, as stated, I'm reiterating myself, that after all those times, after six years, because I can remember where they, was, they soft opened. Yeah. And I had no idea what the land was, and I was still impressed by it then. And now I'm really impressed on a whole other level now that I know what I'm looking at. And now walking in past another fountain to Flight of the Hippogriff queue line. And there's Hagrid's motorbike right there. Look at that in the woods. Yeah, that's pretty dang cool. Look at that, the coaster going around, getting a view of the castle and everything. Yeah, that is pretty dang awesome. I never even realized this was back tucked away in here. Hagrid's little hut over here next to the castle. Uh-oh, Book of Monsters has escaped. It's bitten and broke through the wood Whole, the little thing it was, it was held in here. Be careful, the Book of Monsters is out there somewhere, and the large pumpkin over here too. Yeah, I kind of remember the pumpkins, that's when they could see themselves back from the past and the future and all. That kind of reminded me of Back to the Future 2 a little bit, kind of the, the same type of thing, but the pumpkins were in that scene as well. It was pretty awesome. And that's the Hippogriff's uh, nest right there. Check that out, you can see the nest is like right there. You think yeah. the Hippogriff's in there? Buckbeak should be in there. Buckbeak, that's right. Yeah, this is so awesome. Look at this, going up, 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 and away. And Hagrid's probably over there watching from his little hut. Yeah, there's Buckbeak right there. He is in the nest right there. Look at him right there. He's just waiting for the next ride vehicle to go by. Waiting very patiently. I'm gonna be saying hi very soon and waving and bowing. There is a jug right here on this cart. It says, flesh-eating slug repellent and they got netting here in case anyone loses anything you got the netting to kind of catch whatever it is that you lose but the flesh eating slug repellent is very fascinating to me it's right here on this on this cart going up 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 oh my gosh oh wow wow oh wow That was fun. <laughs> Quick. 
That was a lot of fun. It's not really the longest, probably like 90 seconds. Yeah. Kind of similar to like Astro Orbiter or something like that, but it's definitely cool. And it was only like maybe like a 15 minute wait at, at the absolute most. Yeah, it was good. Ended up sitting against this rock wall watching the Tri Wizard Tournament. Did I get that right? Tri Wizard Tournament. Tri, give me a backstory on the Tri. I, mean, I remember the characters, remember the guys that were very athletic. The but, Dermstrang. What was their names? Dermstrang. The Dermstrang? Derm Strang and they were just they did like a whole acrobatic show full of a lot of a lot going on on this. Yeah, and then the Bobatons, it goes in blue, they're the, they're the French house. They like, created the map. So Wormtail was um, Peter Pettigrew. He was the one that deceived yeah. them and got James and all and that's them. that's when you see them walking all around, they can tell where everyone is. Yeah. And did just wanted to show one last little view of Wizarding World of Harry Potter. I'm gonna probably head out soon, but before heading out, I'm gonna stop over into Honey Dukes and get myself a chocolate frog. I figure it's kind of like a win in Rome moment. I've already had the butter beer. I've already had some food. And now I think I'm gonna stop in and get a chocolate frog. But before doing that, I wanna show here on the Forbidden Journey ride. So basically the ride show building stretches all the way back here. You just see how expansive it is. It goes way, way back here. Pretty neat. Quite an impressive attraction. All right, chocolate frog time. And I think that's gonna, that might be it for the day. You ever had a chocolate frog? Um, no, but I know when you do have one, you should bite the legs off first so they don't jump away. Bite the legs off the chocolate frog first? Yeah, so they don't hop away. Okay, I'm gonna do that. I'm like tempted to go on this a third time, but I think, I feel like my I don't know if my stomach can handle it and my, my head can handle it. I don't think mine can. And when this attraction first opened, it used to be a 3D attraction, but they got rid of the 3D glasses because too many people were getting sick. Back over at the Misting Pants before walking over into Honeydukes. So Honeydukes has a wide variety of different candy options. A lot of them really would be pretty tasty to the taste buds, but definitely gonna stick by, stick by my proclamation of getting the chocolate frogs. So I gotta find the <laughs> chocolate frogs inside Honeydukes. Once I get the chocolate frog, I'll probably go back and I'll also probably go back to the car and open it up. I think the chocolate frog I'm getting has a house card in it. I'm not sure which house card it's gonna be. But inside Honeydew, just kind of looking around at some of the delicious items. Also, that it, there's a certain area where there are a lot of different owls that you can see underneath the little veranda here under this, the roof line. There are owls just scattered all around. And the theming is so neat because there's some owl dung so also painted onto the banisters, which is pretty neat to see owl dung painted on. You don't really see that in the in the theming. And speaking of owls, every 15 minutes there is an owl that off the very top pinnacle of the tower named Nigel. Every 15 minutes, it, you will see a owl pop out right on the tick. Every 15 minutes, Nigel is now making his appearance, popping out. Nigel will pop out, sit stationary for about five six, seven seconds, and then pull himself back in. And that's all you'll see of Nigel. There's really no announcement whatsoever. There's just a slight couple noises, but most people don't recognize Nigel up there. But I did, I pointed him out. Hello, Nigel. There's our shadow there. Whoop, give a shadow spell. Accio, two shadows. Oh, it worked. A little bit of a sun glare. But there is the castle from Wizarding World. It was a pretty fun day. and the wisdom tree up there on the top of the back side of where that tree is on the tippy top to the far end. It's the Hollywood sign. You just can't see the Hollywood sign because the mountain's obscuring it. Oh yeah, I should also add in, I picked up this pin, put it on my lanyard, Ravenclaw. And chocolate frog. Chocolate frog. Which has claw. Ravens have claws, but sometimes frogs do as well. What? Some frogs have claws, they have little. Do they? They're so gummy. They have something sharp on them? Maybe they don't. Maybe I don't, I don't know. Okay. It's frog time. Can I get frog? Chocolate frog goodness. Chocolate frog. I'm excited. I'm excited for you. Your first chocolate frog. Like this. And there's no, so basically there's no calories in a anything that's inside Wizarding World, right? I guess I could use the magic spell. Yeah, it's all calorie free. Look at this. I don't think I'm gonna eat it now. I just wanna do the unboxing. Yeah. But this is a chocolate Frog, can you see it? Yeah, it's a pretty solid chunk of chocolate. Is it completely hard chocolate or is it empty in the middle? Does it have like 
a little like empty section or something. I don't even want to. Actually, I don't know. I don't want to bite into it. And then here we go. Look, <gasps> I got Dumbledore. <gasps> you got Dumbledore. Can you see him? You can. Wait, let's see. Yeah, there he Dumbledore. is. Dumbledore. And this says free wizard and witches card inside. I love Dumbledore. Yeah. I like the original Dumbledore better than the second actor that played Dumbledore. I like them both, but I think the first one is just has a little more wisdom. He's more grandfatherly. Grandfatherly, that's it. But I liked them both. But yeah, I got a chocolate frog and how do I get this out of here? You have to use a magic spell just to get this out. <laughs> they are very there it is. There secure. It is. Look at this. Ooh. How does he hold it? He holds he it. Like Here, I'll have you do it. How does he hold it? Something like this. Like he holds, he holds it, it with his like yeah between his fingers. Yeah, he holds it something like this. That's that's it. Yeah, he kind of does that. Look at that. That's the that's the move. And I, and it comes on the end here. It has what do they call that? Um, it's like the the sensor. The sensor. Yeah. And it's not battery powered. It just runs off its own sensor. You have to replace off the battery. Its own magic. Yeah, and this was like $59? Yep. $59, give or take? This is so cool. I got Mr. V's. Big V's. The, the he who should not be named. I have his wand. What's the, what's the spell I should use on Warner? On Warner? Yeah, what should I say? Um, Ivada Kadava. Ivada Kadava. <laughs> okay, they have been cursed. <laughs> <laughs> and then also should show that there is a map that goes inside here that shows all of Wizarding World and where all the windows that you can use the spells are. And you were telling me that there's two that are not on here. Yeah, the secret windows. Secret spells. Secret spells. So what I'm going to do at a later date, it might not even be in the near future, I will return here with my Mr. V wand that is held, kind of holds it. like that, and I'm gonna do some magic spells, and I will go through the list, and also the frog choir did not perform today. And something else did not happen today, too. Oh, there's no projections on the castle, so there's reasons to come back at night, and it was very difficult because of the sun to really see in the windows to really show off all the window displays. So I feel like this is my first good visit after seeing the films. Now I know exactly what's happening <laughs> in the Wizarding World universe. You know the stories. I know the story. Yeah. I've seen all seven of the years. They call them years. Mm -hmm. Eight Blu-ray set I bought. I have not seen Fantastic Beasts yet, and I have not seen the Dumbledore movies that are out now. Is there a new That's one? That's a part of Fantastic Beasts, I think. Part of Fantastic Beasts. I'm pretty sure. So I'm gonna go on this at a later date. It's a little bit of a teaser, and keeps me motivated to come back at some point. So I'm gonna put this back in the box, because this is an evil wand. And that's gonna do it for today. I am now officially been potterized. Potterized! Yes. Yeah. I'm a Ravenclaw, you're a Slytherin. Yeah. I'll see you. <laughs> What's that? I was say, we did it! We did it! <laughs> I don't know when I'm gonna eat this frog. What if while I'm slumbering tonight, the frog comes alive, and starts hopping around the room and if onto you my. If something jumping in the box, you'll know what it is. That's true. Wait, it's making a noise. Ribbit, ribbit. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog.